These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Candy Kiss's article, quote, International and international pressure to pass the oil and gas law. The Prime Minister's financial advisor, Mazar Mohammed Saleh, confirmed in a press statement that accelerating the approval of the federal oil and gas law, gas project law in the House of Representatives as soon as possible will establish a stable national roadmap for investment and production for the country's main sovereign resource, which is oil and gas. Wolverine says, Iraqi rate is going to 1,000, next is 1 to 1, then the CBI will give an in-country rate followed by an international rate approved by the U.S. The unlock codes arrive Friday, October 20th from the World Bank. Pimpy says, this is not what you want our own government to be so concerned about the actions of Iraq that they would be forced to do this. Article, quote, Washington directed the departure of the family of its diplomats and non-essential staff from Iraq and not to use Baghdad Airport. Pimpy says that's not good. We need for Iraq to stay out of conflict of any kind. Unfortunately, there's Iranian-backed politicians, therefore they're going to be involved. All right, Mark Z via PDK comment. Lots of rumors about Dinar going to 1,000. Mark Z says the 1,000 to 1 always made sense to me. Then they quickly pulled their big revaluation right after. But there are rumors around the streets, even though it's been very quiet in Iraq. Right now, getting any news over there is like pulling teeth from a grizzly bear with no anesthesia. But it is pointing towards they already did that this weekend in Iraq. and We are watching for that. If it's accurate, then bam. All right, Claire article, quote, the U.S. State Department statement pushes the state administration coalition to an important meeting at al-Maliki's house. All right, Nader from the Mideast article, quote, the governor of the central bank, Ali al considered the process of stabling the dinar exchange rate against the dollar as a big operation that requires changes to the Iraqi commercial system. This came in a speech during the first annual banking conference hosted by the city of Erbil under slogan, The Banking Sector Opportunities for Advancement in the Future of International Companies. Pimpy says they need to 100% de-dollarize, and I mean all markets with stiff penalties. We understand they have to do it, uh, use the dollar when they're doing sales of oil, but everything else, stiff penalties. Nobody else is allowed to use U.S. dollars. I would, wouldn't would even sell them to the locals. There's always going to be a black market. You have countries under sanctions like Iran, Turkey, Syria, all under sanctions by the U.S., and they want U.S. dollars. This is a poor predicament Iraq is in, but they need to do something. Militiaman says if they're going to go from 1310 to something different, likely to get into the international world with a fair, effective ex- change rate they're going to be a major change to the commercial system obviously he a lack is talking about changing the commercial system so something has to change and what we think that is is their exchange rate all right frank 26 says when you ask when is it going to happen ask how is the cleaning going how is the removal of iran eradicating this smuggling going that's what we want to know nothing else because once the atmosphere is suitable You're going to get what you want. You're never going to get rid of the cockroaches, but you can definitely control them. That's what's happening right now. Corruption is being controlled. It's being cleaned up. All right, Desert Advisor article, quote, Iraq allows transactions in Chinese yin as it uh, seeks to avoid U.S. restrictions on the use of the dollar. That's a big deal. They're getting away from the U.S. dollar. Quote, the decision came after the return of the Iraqi delegation from a visit to Washington and they got approval from Washington, it seems. They banned people from dealing in U.S. dollars also in their local markets. Another big move. They don't want to use the dollar anymore. Mark Z says it's quiet on all fronts today. Quiet is not a bad thing. The sheer volume of misinformation Things being dropped right now tells us important things, like how they are trying to cloud the timing. Pimpy says, people keep asking me, in your opinion, Pimpy, are we going to see a change in the exchange rate before the end of the year? I say no, but we do 
uh, know that it's going not going to be very significant. I'm sorry, he said, but if we do, it's not going to be very significant. Pimpy says, if anything you see, it might go to 1320 down to maybe 1200. It's at least a step in the right direction. I'll take it. I don't care how small it is, just as long as they're doing something with the current exchange rate. Baby steps, that's fine. Uh, note, going down from 1320 to 1200 is good for dinar investors. Militiaman says, this stuff that I bring to you is not a pile in the sky. It's phenomenal stuff, so get ready. We're about to see some fireworks. That's my hope. Mark Z uh, via PDK says, I spoke to some people that are key to this process, and they say it has not started yet. The groundwork is done, but the trigger has not been pulled yet. I think we are in the last few weeks of this thing. My gut says two to three days or a week, a week and a half, but I am waiting to get some confirmations on that. Real confirmations from a high, incredible source. No one knows the exact date. It's going to be a complete surprise to all of us the moment it goes. <laughs> 